and we're going to kick this off a little bit of Mafia 3. Here we go. Wait. No, wait. I need to go to... Oh, I need to go to option. I need to put auto aim on. Shut the fuck up. Be quiet. <laughs> Yo! Trying to make a fucking video here! Gana! Sorry, guys, that's my dog there. Right. Let's have a little butcher's here. So we've got journal options. We'll have high. Uh, don't know about that. That'll do. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Right. Yeah. Still not sure about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Even greased his partner to make it look good. If you got doubts, why well, take the chance? What? Why am I picking this dude up? Stick it with his mate. There you go, buddy. should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Right, so that's that. What a punk. Oh, that's that. You get a move on. Let's go. Come on, mate. I need to turn the brightness up on this. Ah, oh, where would that be? What? I can't brighten it up. Oh, that is ridiculous. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I'll take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this, what's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Uh, oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? So come on, you going to answer the question or what? We, uh... There must be a way to turn up the bikers. We on the coast. I can't see a bloody thing. Is that it? Just controls. The 
Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. Yeah, I'm loving the, uh, old, old school style of, uh, Speed out at the bottom there. Yes, yes, nice touch. Oh, this is like an old school GTA. <laughs> oh boy! Guys at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Out of my way. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Oh, I'm skidding right up in there. Come on, son. Come on. What's the problem, officer? He's like, ha, huh, got him. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Now, here we go. D's up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? Two hundred thirty-eight thousand five hundred forty-six dollars. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Fucking racist little pig. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? <clears throat> Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. <laughs> he just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job 
It ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on a spot. God damn calling me nigga. You racist pig. Come on. Come on. These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <you. laughs> uh, <sighs> Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling Ooh. around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. What? Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. <laughs> here we are. Oh, need trolling that, mate. Get out of it, you dirty boy. What you want, Sam? Put those bags on you the table want, there. I've done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. That gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. Told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. Used to be. Oh, shit. God, that it's guy was much. an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> Put him in there. I'll pick you back up. Right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. You know that house we've been renting out? I called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's, uh, John. Stop. That's how I deal with them boys. Oh, a little gunny, eh? Let's go, man. This place ain't gonna rob itself. This is... Quick swap, L1. Right, okay, yeah, got that. Got that, boy. Got it. Yeah, boy. It's a fucking shit chair, this. I need to get a better chair. Look at this. Look at this. <sighs> Bloody night, man. This is a brilliant gun. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking robbery! Y'all see him? Right there. <laughs> Let's get those cocksuckers! 
What? What? These ammo you Don't blow his damn head off. Hang on a minute. I put that on high, didn't I? Goddamn, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Give me that damn thing. Uh, expose the lock, rotate until... ...and press square. It's way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Yeah, boy. I was in the war. I was in the I was in the goddamn army, man. Well, it's not a good it's not a good angle for me. This I need to sort out maybe a better, better camera and that a better mic. And maybe some viewers would be good. Let's go for two likes, people. Yeah, boy. <laughs> gravy, mate, gravy. So that's like, I bet that's sort of like the end. Nice, so it's pretty similar to, yeah, done exactly what they've done on GTA. Well done, lads. Um, let's 
set the route. Ah, right. Right, I see. I see what you want me to do. You're teaching me how to do it. Okay. So Sam is doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Who the fuck is this? Ricky Rowe. Sorry about that, people. Oh, what was that? Fuck it, it's your car, Bash it. That's all you want. Oh, sorry, I'll do it. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I, I say, sure. Free there. money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving up. Shit! Watch what you're doing! Anyhow, like I was saying, Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Yeah, Knew a couple like, guys over now who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. No so way Sal's right. gonna go along with that. Georgie says right. he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, okay. yeah, just selling yeah, the French yeah. wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah. All right. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here. I ask you the back door. Yeah, boy, it's me. Gotti. <laughs> right, pausing out there. That's the first episode, guys. Remember to like and subscribe.